Thigmotropism is a directional growth response in plants, triggered by physical contact with a solid object. In thigmotropism, the direction of the plant's growth is influenced by touch or mechanical stimulation, leading to movements like coiling, bending, or wrapping around objects. This type of growth is most commonly seen in climbing plants, vines, and certain roots. Thigmotropism allows plants to interact with their surroundings mechanically, helping them find support or navigate obstacles in their environment. The mechanism behind thigmatropism involves several complex steps. When a plant part, such as a tendril, touches an object, it perceives the mechanical stimulus through specialized cells that can sense touch. This triggers a cascade of chemical and electrical signals within the plant, leading to the redistribution of growth hormones, particularly auxins. Auxins accumulate on the side of the tendril opposite the side being touched. Because auxins promote cell elongation, the cells on the untouched side grow faster than those on the side in contact with the object. As a result, the tendril bends towards the object, eventually curling or wrapping around it. In addition to auxin movement, other molecules like calcium ions and signaling proteins also play roles in amplifying and coordinating the response. Thigmotropism provides several advantages to plants. For climbing plants and vines, it offers a way to maximize their exposure to sunlight without investing heavily in developing thick, self-supporting stems. In roots, thigmotropic responses help the plant navigate through the soil, avoiding obstacles like rocks and allowing the roots to grow into areas where water and nutrients are more accessible. There are many fascinating examples of thigmotropism in nature. The pea plant uses tendrils that coil tightly around supports when they make contact. The climbing vine, like a pumpkin, shows strong thigmotropic responses in its tendrils. In passionflower vines, tendrils not only coil but also develop specialized hooks to attach securely to structures. Another interesting example is the roots of maize which exhibit thigmotropism by bending around obstacles in the soil, ensuring they continue to grow into nutrient-rich areas. Thanks for watching this video on thigmotropism, including its examples, mechanism, and advantages. I'll see you soon with another science video. Until then, happy learning!